Hello, dear students. My name is Shoira Kutbidinova. I am an English teacher of Uzbek Finnish Pedagogical Institute. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about education. Now, let's listen and repeat the information about the stages in a person's education in United Kingdom system. A. Stages in a person's education. UK system. The youngest children start their education in a creche, where they mostly play, but also do some early learning activities. After that, they may go to a nursery school. Between the ages of 5 and 11, children attend primary school, where they learn the basics of reading, writing, arithmetic, etc. For most children, secondary education begins when they enter a comprehensive school or a more traditional grammar school to which they gain admission by sitting an exam. The famous UK public schools are in fact private, fee-paying schools. Between the ages of 11 and 18, young people take a wide range of subjects in arts, sciences and technical areas. In the UK, Pupils can leave school at the age of 16, although many young people choose to remain in full-time education until the age of 18. In England, it is compulsory for young people to continue with some form of education or training until they are 18, even if they also have a job. From 16 to 18, young people may study at secondary school or at a sixth form college, after which they may go on to higher education. A. Now, uh, let's learn uh, the phrases and words about the exams and qualifications. Do or sit an exam or resit an exam. At schools and sixth form colleges in the UK, students have to take formal end of year exams. At 18, a lot of students sit their university entrance exams, commonly referred to as A-levels. Students are usually given marks, for example, 75%, or grades, for example, A, B+, C. If you pass and do well, you get a high grade. If you fail, you don't get the minimum grade. If you skip classes, You'll probably do badly in the exam. B. Exams and qualifications. You take, do, or sit an exam, or resit an exam. At schools and sixth form colleges in the UK. With an LMS or a VLE, students can work online and do more distance learning or blended learning. Teachers can monitor students' activities and progress. Students can choose courses and or modules, submit work, write blogs, access wikis and leave voice messages. C. Technology. With Talking about education. Common questions. What's the school leaving age? It's 18 in a lot of countries. At what age does compulsory education begin? D. Talking about education. Common question. Now, dear students, now let's have a look at exercise 14.1. Fill in the gap in this life story of a British woman. Amy first went to the local primary school at the age of five. The year before that, she attended the nursery school but her parents didn't send her to a crash when she was very small. When Amy was ready to go to secondary school, she passed a special exam, so gained admission to her local grammar school. Her friends didn't do that exam. Like most children, they went to a comprehensive school so only a few children from very rich families go to famous 
public schools and Amy only knew one girl from her class at primary school who did. At the age of 16, Amy went to sixth form college where she is currently studying English, history, and math. Her ambition is to go on to higher education and become a teacher. Now, dear students, let's do exercise 14.2. Rewrite the words in bold in this conversation using the words from B opposite. So I've got one more exam tomorrow. I hope I get minimum grade pass. I'm worried. So really, what makes you think you won't get a high grade? So we can say won't do well, right? Good. So, well, I have skipped a couple of classes this term. Hmm, if you get... Mm -hmm. If you fail, mm, are you forward to receive the exam again? Good. So, but uh, I don't want to. Next year, I want to go to university. Not. Mm -hmm. Not to go to the not do or take a level exam again. Very good. Now, dear students, let's correct the mistakes in these sentences in exercise 14.3. So, in the United Kingdom, students between 16 and 18 can go to sixth form college. The school leaving age is 18 in many countries. I'm glad you passed your exam. Mm -hmm. She has to sit on a biology exam next week. So, good. Mm -hmm. In this school, compulsory till 18 in your country. So do we have to submit our work to the teacher by Friday? Mm -hmm. I made a lot of progress, progress yeah, in my English recently. Thanks to the LMS, teacher cannot monitor the students' activities. Now, dear students, answer the question at exercise 14.2. What do you call learning that mixed classes, mixes classes and online work? blended learning rate. So what do we call schools which require students to take an exam to gain admission? Public school, good. So, um, what do we call private school where the parents pay fees? Public school, and what about the second one? What do we call schools, schools which require students take, to take an exam to gain admission? Yeah, it was grammar school. And what about the last one? What do we call you can do at home without going to class? Distance learning, good. Now, dear students, I'm going to ask you to make a chart in English for the education system in your country. Is it the same as the UK or, or do there differences? Compare with someone else if possible. Thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.